Hey everybody, Aaron here from Comic Booked, and today I'm unboxing a big box. That's, that's it, a big box. We're just going to open it up and see what's inside. But I'll tell you, this is a um, special sale that the BAM box had um, a month or maybe it was like Black Friday. I think they had several sales on Black Friday, and I got one, um, one or two of the comic boxes. Uh, so that's what's supposed to be in here. So... We'll open that up and we'll see what's in it. And who knows? Maybe I'll be surprised. So far, I've been subscribed to the BAM box on and off um, for several years. They've they're uh, going to be celebrating their seventh anniversary come this January. So that's uh, that's a pretty big deal uh, for a company like that to be around that long and uh, and still going strong, which is great. So I've, uh, you know, I did several reviews of the different companies um, back at the beginning. If you remember, to box or not to box. Um, if you want to go out and look um, out on the on our uh, list of things, it would be in our unboxing uh, playlist or you know somewhere in the channel. But just you can just search box and you're bound to find find that. So I got paper, not the usual black paper that they use which is fine because the, the last few boxes they've had like the shredded paper which is horrible because it gets all over the place it's kind of like sand it gets everywhere you know? um, all right right off the top got a nice BAM plus sticker and uh, some of the coins from the boys which I have several of these actually I was just looking at those on the table uh, but they minted some coins that are from the boys comics that uh, was printed by Dynamite. You know the boys, the TV show that's on uh, on Amazon. Um, this is this is what it's based on. So if you didn't know it was based on a comic, it is. Um, but these are the coins. So there are three coins in here, at least on top, and one of the Bam patches for Bam comics. So kind of cool. More paper. And a stack of comics. So that's cool. Let's see what's in here. It's all in bubble wrap. Looks like they're all bagged and boarded. That's pretty cool. Um, they're bagged and boarded and open, which is fine because I like to sometimes read them. We'll see what they are. So, first up, sorry, I gotta make room. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to have so much stuff. All right. First off is a copy of Venom 33. This is the regular cover, but this was during the King in Black uh, storyline that was going on with Null. Uh, so that's cool. Nice copy of that. Put it here in my, in my box of comics. Um, here is a variant cover. Beautiful variant cover. I don't know what book it is, but we'll find out. Uh, this is issue four, Venom number four variant, um, and it must be a BAM, oh yep, BAM exclusive, so that's cool. Um, now I don't know if this is the second series, or not second series, let me just take it out and look at it, you know, so hard to tell sometimes. It just says, oh gosh. This is the Codex storyline that was going on. And I guess the uh, masthead will be in the back. Venom number four. Yeah, it just says Venom number four, March 2022. So that was this year's uh, series. So not the, uh, not the series with Nulls origin and our uh, first appearance and all that stuff but still a uh, very cool cover uh, here is a variant for Wolverine number two that's a neat variant here's a variant for X-Men variant cover it's pretty neat Um, Wonder Woman Black and Gold issue number one. That is a beautiful variant cover. A 
and that is uh, Cho. Yeah. Awesome. Gotta love some good Cho artwork. Uh, here's another X-Men number one variant with X-23 slicing through the picture of the classic old mutants. <clears throat> Red Sonya number four, and this is the only one that's sealed so far. Red Sonya number four, it looks like the photo cover, cosplay cover maybe. That's pretty cool. That was cover C from that. Oh, nice. I don't actually have one of these. Regular, I have sketch cover and I have the uh, black and white, or the sketch cover and then the colored virgin cover, but I don't have the regular cover of punchline number one. This is the Joker Jesus cover, if you haven't heard about that. Pretty cool. Again, another Adam Cho cover. And finally, a second printing of Thanos Annual number one, which is pretty neat looking. All right, so that's the first batch of comics. There's a whole bunch of stuff still in this box, so let's see what else is in here. There's this big chunk of stuff. Ooh, graded books. Nice. Uh, looks like that. Rummage around in the paper. That looks like that's all there is in the box. Gonna make sure there wasn't another coin or something down in there and we'll see what graded books we got so there for a while if you're not aware and I, I know I did some unboxings when I got these um, that Bambox was doing um, a graded book every month and then a reader copy along with the graded book but they did variant covers of their own that were graded and uh, signed a lot of times which is awesome so they had uh, the boys' um, second printing, I think that was our second or third printing that was out uh, from Dynamite, and it, they had their own uh, variant cover for that, or it wasn't a variant cover; it was just a regular cover. But it had um, a signature on it, uh, and then it was it was graded, so you get a 9.8 grade, which is pretty cool. Then there was the Adam Cho stuff that was uh, was really neat. Um, Oh my goodness. There is a bunch of graded books in here. Okay. I'm just taking the box cutters to it. <clears throat> Alright. We're almost there. They are almost free. They definitely weren't free. But... That's one thing. <clears throat> Just to let you know, Bambox is not a sponsor of this uh, channel, site, or anything like that. Um, I pay for a subscription just like anybody else, um, although I'm sure there are places out there that do get theirs for free just so they can you know, do reviews and whatever, but yeah. So, I like this blue painter's tape. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to have to get some of that sometime. up the bags that they're all in. I know you guys like the little AM ASMR there with uh, tape, right? The sound of ripping tape. And some more. Oh! And some plastic came off of that one. Alright. Oh, we're almost out of this tape. Alright, well the first one is one I already have, um, and that is a signed copy of Barbarella, number 6, uh, volume 2 from Dynamite. Sorry, I thought I had it where I could pull them off, you know, I was just like one piece of tape short. Alright, jeez make me work for it this time. 
<clears throat> but I do like Bambox um, for their autographs every month. Now, they just had a big news, con or a news conference, you know, a big um, webcast yesterday where they talked about all the changes coming. Uh, they were uh, partnering with their, uh, I guess, sister company or, or parent company or whatever, Big Beast, um, and that is going to be a separate thing now, I guess. Uh, for a while, they did away with some of the things in the box, and they were doing these um, collectible cards that you could get, and then the cards, you would um, get commons and uncommons and rares, and you could trade the commons in for autographed um Funko Pops and pictures and th th photos and things like that. So um, they're they're moving all of the cards from their regular monthly boxes to this other company. So uh, first off is Barbarella, Volume Two, Number Six, and it is signed by Sarah Hoyt, who did the cover, I guess. So very nice, and that's an exclusive cover of Barbarella. Pretty neat. All right, I have I have a couple copies of that one actually, so that'll go in my box. Um, oh, very nice. This is one of the David Nakayama um, negative space covers, and this is She-Hulk number two, and it's signed. Oh, it's signed over here by David. Very cool. And the negative space covers are all the rage. People love it. And that's an exclusive Bam cover from She-Hulk. Or she Hulk cover from Bam. Uh, here is Inferno number one with another uh, Nakayama cover, and that is Mystique on blue. Very nice. Signed by Rebecca Romaine. Actually, that is a big autograph. Rebecca Romaine signing Mystique, who she played in the original X Men movie back in the day, and that's another. Inferno is another uh, exclusive. This is from unknowncomicbooks.com, um, S-I-H-L-A, and Comic Traders. So that's their uh, exclusive. Pretty cool. Um, oh, funny, because I, uh, I had one of these and I sold it. Um, this is Cowboy Bebop, number one, uh, signed by the artist, or by the... Um, yeah, by Kreese Young Si Young Sung Lee, um, who did the art or did the uh, did the cover. So he signed it down here, and you can see it's an exclusive Bam Comics Cowboy Bebop number one. Very cool. Even though that was kind of a flop show on Netflix, um, it's still pretty neat to see that come to the screen. Even though people were disappointed, you never know. So, the last one is actually two books, and both are exclusives. And I know that one has tape hanging off of it, but I'll take care of that later. Um, this is one that I actually got. I don't believe I got either one of these covers. I got the regular covers, um, but this is Vampirella Volume 5, number 25, which is, these are just beautiful covers by Jay Lee. Um, and I have the black and white, and I have the, yeah, the black and white and the color. Both Virgin, both signed by Jay Lee there at the top. You can see his little scribble above Dracula's head. And both graded 9.8, which is really nice. And the cases are beautiful. The bags are messed up, but that's all right. I can get other bags. Uh, so that's that's it. So I picked up two. Actually, I, might, I think I got three of these boxes. And they were pretty good priced at the sale. Um, but I, you know, out of that, I got two, four, six graded books, and then the stack of regular books. Um, which had a couple of the really nice variant covers for X-Men number one, a couple Venom, um, a couple of, what else was there, uh, Thanos, and, and some other things. So, you know, Bambox always delivers really quality products. Um, I wish they'd get back to doing the graded comics again because I really like that with the exclusive covers and everything. So who knows, maybe they'll do that again. Uh, the, the announcements they've made for the new stuff sound good. Um, they're going to have, you know, go back to props which is always a fun thing you get autographed props and, and regular props in the boxes um they're i think they're going to continue to do the level ups and all that like they used to <clears throat> but they're taking the cards out and they're sending the cards over to the other a different box that you can get so uh, check them out though the bambox.com or the bambox i think it's bambox.com or um you can check out the bambox on facebook i know they're on youtube 
And you can watch their stream from last night. It was like two hours, and it talks about all this stuff, uh, the future of the Bambox. So, yeah, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so I'll have a link uh, down in the bottom here with uh, with uh, my referral thing, if you don't mind using that. If you sign up, um, then we both get some benefit out of it. But uh, that's it for that was a, the Black Friday sales that they had for the comic boxes. Um, hopefully you enjoyed looking at that stuff. So um, I'll bust open the band boxes when I get them in January, the new ones, uh, which will be actually will be the December boxes. <clears throat> and then the, the January boxes when they come out uh, will be the new style of band box. And we'll see what happens. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, my daughter's waiting. We're going to play. Friday Night Magic. So, um, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Check out our website, comicbook.com. I am doing more comic review stuff now, so please take a look at those and let me know what you think. All right, thanks.